Got another ammo test for you from the North American Arms Mini Revolver. This is a Black Widow Magnum. So this is larger than some of the North American Mini Revolvers, but it is a sweet little piece of craftsmanship. Uh, it's got a two inch barrel, it's got the Magnum chamber, and it's a nice shooter. It's got the big wide grips, it's got real sights. So it's a nice pistol, it's a small pistol, but can it deliver man-stopping power? That's the question, and, and a lot of people have been asking for this, and I've looked around, and I haven't found any uh, ammo test conducted to the FBI or IWBA specification, so we're gonna do that today. We are gonna take Hornady Critical Defense. Now, this is designed for short barrel pistols. This is designed to perform from something like this. So we're gonna use this 22 Magnum ammo and we're gonna put it through genuine FBI specification professional ballistic gelatin. Now the specifications we're looking for, we want a minimum of 12 inches and a maximum of 18 inches. But if we were ever gonna fudge on that and, and uh, maybe back off a little. I think we can make a little bit of an exception for a little tiny micro pistol because this is not really something you want to be using as your primary defense weapon. This is more of something of like a backup weapon. And so it's more likely you're going to be in close combat if you if you draw this. And if you, if you are in close combat, it's less likely that maybe somebody will be blocking their chest with their arms when they're shooting at you. So we may not have to worry that much about the arms. I'm still looking for 12 inches. But if it comes close, we're still going to evaluate the ammo fairly. We're not going to throw it out if it hits 11 and a half. We're going to still do a complete test. So that includes through the bare gelatin and through IWBA 16 ounce heavy denim, four layers of this stuff. This is not some old pair of jeans that you get from the Goodwill store and lay in front of your gel block. This is the real professional stuff. So we're going to find out how good, how effective, what kind of a hit you can deliver from this type of micro pistol and using the Hornady Critical Defense. Check this out. Critical Defense through the Bear Gel. Not too shabby. Now, I said we wanted minimum of 12 inches and four out of the five did not deliver that, but one of them did. Uh, that's a little surprising. But look at our numbers here. We got the shortest bullet came in at 10 and a half. Then we had one at 11, one at 11 and a half, one at 11 three quarters, and the furthest bullet went all the way to 13 inches. That's not ideal, but it's promising enough that it warrants running the denim test, so we'll do that now. Through the denim, penetration is uh, really, really good. We had one bullet stop at 11 and a half inches, again, just short of the 12 that we were looking for, but still, that's really good. And then three that penetrated deeper, but looked like they didn't expand. Uh, one stopped at 14 inches, one at 15 and a half, and one all the way at 17 and a quarter. So great depth of penetration. Expansion, we'll see, but the penetration depth was fantastic. The results of the critical defense were pretty good. Uh, through the bear gel, they're kind of excellent in terms of expansion. They behave reliably. Their penetration wasn't great. It did come in short of the 12 inches that I was looking for, but, you know, I was being, I think, a little optimistic in asking for 12 inches. Through denim, the performance is not so good. I got one that partially expanded and three that just didn't try. And, you know, this polymer tip, I'm just not sold on that. I've done many tests on critical defense and usually at least one bullet fails to expand. I've never really been a fan of pre-plugging the hollow point cavity in order to have the hollow point cavity not get plugged. That's never really made that much sense to me and here again it happened. So we had one expander and it, the, it didn't perform that well. It, it really under penetrated. I mean we had some under penetration with all of them, but uh, these at least didn't over penetrate. They did stay within the 18 inches. So overall, pretty good performance. But I want to show you something now because, you know, I've seen, you've probably seen, anybody interested in the, in the 22 Magnum has probably seen, Hornady has a uh, picture where they show the 22 Magnum penetrating about the same as the 380. And it does. 
And that's part of the story. But the rest of the story is look at a Critical Defense 380 bullet. It's so much bigger. It's so much bigger. It's as big as, you know, it would take maybe three of these 22 Magnums to do as much damage as one Critical Defense bullet. So all I'm really getting at here is don't be oversold. Don't get in over your head. Don't think that the 22 Magnum is now going to be this ultimate man stopper because the 380 is considered a fairly marginal caliber and it makes a much bigger wound than the 22 Magnums do. That said, the 22 Magnums did penetrate deep enough that in many circumstances or, or for backup gun use, they would have the ability to reach deep enough and cause a critical hit. And they, in bear gel, they did perform very well. Not to the minimums, but well. And in the denim, not really so good. So it's okay. Not great, but pretty good. Okay, first of all, I'm surprised that we had no bullets over penetrate. I did have three that totally failed to expand. This, this little polymer tip that they put in here, I've tested critical defense in a lot of different calibers. And in most tests, I've had at least one bullet fail to expand. I, I don't think this polymer tip is all that great. I certainly wouldn't buy ammunition specifically because, oh, this version has a polymer tip because I don't think it really does much for you. But that said, even when they failed to expand, they still didn't over penetrate. They did underpenetrate based on the standards that I'm looking for, a minimum of 12 inches. We got the shortest bullet was as short as 10 and a quarter. That's not good. Uh, Martin Fackler said that overpenetration may get you sued, but underpenetration can get you killed. Now, that said, it's not like it was a six inch bullet. You know, it was 10 and a quarter. And I think for the role that this would fulfill, Keeping in context, you really shouldn't be relying on a tiny pistol for your primary defense. This is more suitable for a backup, probably for close quarters fighting, you know, a belly gun when, when they're right on you and you grab this and you shove it in the belly. And for a situation like that, 10 inches is enough. 10 inches will get the job done. Uh, we really like to see the 12 inches because they may be having their arms pointing at you when they're holding a gun at you. And in that kind of a case, you really do need that extra penetration to be able to get through to the vitals and stop them. Um, but in a belly gun situation, you don't need quite that much. So the 10 and a quarter was okay. My biggest problem with the critical defense here is that I also tested the gold dots and every one of them went over 12 inches. And of the ones that went through the denim, more of them expanded. I think I had one failed to expand of the gold dots, whereas I had three failed to expand in the critical defense. So I think head to head, gold dots win it. If I was buying ammo for my uh, Black Widow, I would go with the gold dots. But the critical defense was not bad, not bad at all. And if you've got these in your gun, I think you're probably pretty well armed. I just would want to make sure that you recognize the limitations of a little pistol, that it's more suitable for close-up work and not for general defensive purposes. In that context, as a backup gun, critical defense did fine. Gold Dots did better, but the critical defense was still good. I was impressed with, with both of them, really. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm going to be putting up a lot of videos here in short order, so hit subscribe. You'll be notified when all the new ones come out. And thanks to my viewers who donate ammo to me. Uh, it is through the generosity of my viewers that I was able to bring this test to you because I could not find this kind of ammo anywhere. And one of my viewers says, uh, Spider Extra 77 said, hey, I got half a box. I'll send those to you. That was fantastic. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. And again, thanks for watching.